Hi everybody, my name is Michaela Furchon. I'm a senior human factors engineer within the radiology R&D. Um, my actual job and position is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we have a production plant here. Um, we not only produce the syringes and disposables for our injector systems within the radiology suite, but we also have the R&D center here. So research and development. We produce all of the products. We bring it from concept all the way till it's ready to be launched. So um, we have a lot of different cross functions here. Um, me specifically, um, I was an undergrad in bioengineering. Um, I did that from the University of Pittsburgh. So when, with that as my major, I um, concentrated in medical devices and my minor is in industrial engineering. Human factors engineering is kind of a mix between the two. So that was what I really liked about it. Um, being an engineer, I didn't want to work in just a cubicle. I wanted to be out there and um, talk with people and be conversational. And that's really what human factors is. Um, human factors just in general is kind of the study of um, understanding how people interact with systems, how they um, have their cognitive burden when it comes to um, user interface design and understanding the information on the, on the screen. Um, our actual products in here are radiology, so that means when you were in, if you've ever gotten a CT or an MRI scan, um, the um, injector that's actually giving you the contrast for that scan is actually what we work on here. So you'll see some of this stuff in the background. Um, with Human Factors comes not only documentation, but also we work on um, user studies. So we're actually in the usability suite right now. Um, over here in this space, this is the control room. So this is really um, a mock of what the um, suites would be in real life. So this station is where they would have a workstation that would control the injector system. And they can usually have all their other scanner equipment um, and desktop devices over here as well. If you follow me over here, we're gonna go into the scan room. So in the scan room, um, as you can see, there is a much bigger space. This is our mock, um, mock scanner table. So um, this kind of looks like what a CT or an MRI scan might be. Um, we obviously have our simulated patient on the table. His name is Simon. Um, and he joins us for all of our studies to pretend like he's the patient on the table. Um, what we usually do is we will bring users into this space and we just get feedback on any devices and they can be concept foam models, but they could also be full on ready to go injectors as you can see over there with our injector over there. Um, we just get their feedback so we understand what's good and what's bad about the system. And then our job as human factors engineers on the program is to go into the team and say, hey, these are the things that they really like and these are the things that they do not like and this is how we think that you should improve it. At that point, we do a cross-collaboration effort with the rest of the team and we decide on our solutions. So um, it's a really rewarding um, atmosphere because you really understand um, how you can help a patient every day and we really are trying to save lives over here. So um, I really hope you consider going into the engineering field because it is a great um, way to get yourself out there and be technical, but also with human factors be involved with the customers. So um, have a great day.